What's going on there, YouTube? Vaping with Twisted 420 has returned. And today, this video is going to be about my juice. That's right, my fucking juice line. As you can see, the shirt and the box and my juice. We're going to be talking about not too shabby juice today, people. My juice line. Let's go ahead and take a look at it, why don't we? folks and we are back we are back once again and today we're going to talk about my juice finally a video about my juice uh coincidentally i just came out with four new flavors the last of that not too shabby line and uh we're going to talk about it folks we're going to talk about it a lot of people don't know i've had a juice line a premium juice line for right about a year now a lot of people don't know because, you know, I don't bring it up. I might mention it in a vlog or something about some new flavors coming out or something, but I don't shove it down your throats. You know what I mean? I try to be cool. Try to try to take it easy. Now, uh, the juice line's been going great. Uh, at the end of the video, we'll list off all the retailers and places you can get it and all that good shit. And uh, I don't want to hear no bitching about me making a video about my juice. All right? If I don't support me, who the fuck will? <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, the juice line's been great. It's been great. Um... Everything's going, we, we, we're in a bunch of stores. Uh, we're, we're in the UK with our fancy one. We're in Canada with redcoil.ca. We've been doing great, man. We've been doing great. And uh, everything I'm going to tell you here is all real. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. I'm just going to tell you all how everything came about, how I started the juice line. Because I wasn't going to start one for a while. I was going to wait a while before I did a juice line. But I was approached by a young man that we will discuss here in a moment. But yeah, not too shabby juice. The name is not too shabby. So, you know, we're not trying to take ourselves too serious. Uh, we got a great artist named Aaron who created this logo with a little cartoon me uh, <laughs> vaping and stuff and looks silly. And he created the logos for the bottles. Now, that's something we got to talk about. I'm going to have to change a couple of my bottles because fucking within the last week, uh, everything's went into hysteria about labels and marketing to kids and all that. And I understand to an extent uh, everything that's going on, but it's it to it to its core, it's fucking bullshit. It's just an excuse uh, to fuck with us. Uh, oh, you're too many cartoony this and this and colorful that. You're marketing the kids. No, here's the thing about kids. Kids are not really into kitty shit. They want to get a. They want to fuck with the shit that they're not supposed to. You notice a lot. There's a lot of people who didn't drink as much after they turned 21 as they did before. <laughs> you know, because there's no there's no fun in it now. You know, it, you're legal to do it, so it's like ah. But as far as marketing the bottles to kids, I think it's bullshit. But hey, we gotta play ball. You know, if that's one of the things they're saying that they need us to fix, we're gonna fix. And I'll show you some of my labels. I don't think are too bad, but just for the sake of the community uh, as a whole, we will be changing a couple of them. And it sucks because our artist Aaron put in work on some of these labels. You're gonna fucking love them. We'll dive up close in a little bit, take a look at all the bottles and everything. But anyway, let me tell you my story. This is all real deal shit right here. Um, I wanted to do a juice line uh, one day. That's, that was my thought. I'm going to do a juice line one day because I had reviewed a bunch of juices, mixed up a bunch of my own juices. You know, started. I was making some. I had a good idea of what good juice was about. Well, I did a review for East Steam Studios a while back. And um, good juice, by the way. <laughs> And uh, Edward, Edward Brown. Let me show you a picture of Edward Brown right now. Great guy right here from Missouri. That's Edward. Isn't he a handsome young man? I think the glasses accentuate his aura. But uh, <laughs> he hit me up. He's like, hey, man, you ever thought about having your own juice line? I was like, yeah, yeah, I have. But, you know, like down the line and shit, he's like, man, why won't you do it? I was like, fucking. I was like, well, you make juice and everything. I was like, well, let's do it. Let's do it. So let's do it. So we, uh, we started talking. We started coming up with ideas. I started, and the beauty of it is I got complete control over everything. The, the, the flavors, the names of the juices, the bottles, everything. I got complete control. So I was like, well, fuck it. Why not, man? Let's do it. So um, we've, been, we've been doing that. We released uh, liquids. We started out, eSiggity was our first online vendor. Shout out to eSiggity. They will be the first place to purchase the new flavors that uh, we're about to talk about in a minute. And then everybody else, I mean, anybody can order right now. They're ready to roll. But 
Isigidi will be the first to have them as they were the first initially. But um, yeah, everything started going, man. When vendors started signing up, people started liking the juice, and I think it's great. Now, look, I'm not sitting here and gonna, I'm not gonna praise my juice and say it's the best fucking juice ever. But no parent calls their own kid ugly, so I don't have anything bad to say about my juices. But you know, maybe, maybe try, check it out, try some out, see what you think. I don't know. Um, and a lot of people, I had some folks hating. They were like, "Oh, that's what." Fucking the typical reviewer do is they get a little bit of popular and then they come out with a juice line. Fuck yeah, why not? Why not use your popularity for something good? People are like, oh, your juice line, you know, you're just getting rich off of that. Let me tell you something else what my juice line has allowed. My juice line has allowed me to buy a new camera that I'm using right now to make these videos for you guys, to buy new lighting so you can see me better, to buy wireless microphone. I probably shouldn't have pulled that off. To buy a wireless microphone so you guys can hear me better, and buy a new computer um, so I can edit videos for you guys. So that's what my juice line has done for me. It's helping me uh, provide better quality videos and content for you guys. And uh, it's been going good. It's been going good, man. Um, but yeah, we'll go over all the, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just freestyling on this video. I have no idea. Oh yeah, as far as this box, it's a series box. There was only like six of these made. It's just something silly. The Vapor Trunk, not too shabby edition uh, box. It's just something. I got the uh, bullet on here with a 1.2 ohm build. Not too shabby. Maybe I took real quick. Yeah, it's too much air. I need to try to close that off or something. Anyway, uh, what I think we need to do is we'll dive up close. I'll just show you the bottles and shit real quick. We got cards. We got all kinds of shit going on, man. It's it's pretty legit. Pretty legit. We'll talk about the flavors. I'll let you know what they're about. I'm not going to tell you that they're just great or anything because taste is truly subjective. But uh, we'll, we'll look at the bottles, check out the flavors, and then we'll back out. I'll let you know about my retailers, and then that'll be that. Just a quick, simple, not too shabby juice video, y'all. All right, so let's go ahead and dive up close right now. All right, folks, and here we are up close with my juice line. I got to tell you, when I cleaned this vape room the other day, it made it so much nicer. I can get around so much easier. Anyway, um, yeah, here's uh, here's my stuff. I got some little business cards and stuff. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. That's me, Richard Mallard, yo. Uh, you can email me and stuff. And, yeah, like, look at this card. That's how you get a hold of us to do juice stuff. <laughs> right there. Okay. Then, like, when uh, when vendors buy juice or, like, shops buy juice, you get this little card, and then it gives you, like, little flavor profiles and shit. I wrote all these myself. Came out pretty dope. Pretty dope. Um, what was I going to go with this? Um, let's go over the flavors. Now, the first two flavors I ever released was Fruity Rebels and Like a Sir. And... Um, Oh yeah, we got new bottles now. We just switched over to these new bottles. They are tamper-proof and child-resistant tops. And we do have warning labels uh, with ingredients on the side, not to sell the miners, a uh, list of ingredients, all that good stuff. But yeah, we just switched over to these tamper-proof uh, bottles that are pretty dope. Like, you can tell if they've been fucked with and kids will have a hard time opening them. But yeah, these were the first two flavors and we started out 30 PG, 70 VG on these guys, but everything else is 20, 80. Uh, it ended up being a better formula for us. 20 PG, 80 VG worked out great. Now this, this label here, we might have to change because the, uh, even though we did kind of do this on our own, the Fruity Rebels part looks too similar to Fruity Pebbles, so we're probably going to change it. But uh, you see, I got Che Guerrera and James Dean on here. He's got a rainbow beret on Fruity Rebels. You get it? You guys get it? Nobody get it? All right, cool. <laughs> but yeah, it's a good cereal. It's a good cereal vape. That was one of the. Well, I think we were one of the OG cereal vapes. Now the market is saturated as fuck. Now, like a sir, motherfucker. Let me tell you about this liquid right here. Um, it's like, it's, people can talk shit about a few of these other flavors, but when anybody says anything about Like a Sir, I'm like, fuck you, you're lying. <laughs> like a Sir is a butterscotch, sea salted caramel, and vanilla bean liquid. And it is fucking delicious. It's addictive. This is addictive. I'm just saying. Oh yeah, uh, we got, we had 30 mils, but we will be offering 100 mils now. Uh, so vendors and shops and shit can pick up 100 mils of our juice. But yeah, like a sir is straight good, y'all. This, this is this is one of our our beast. We got a couple of beasts in here, in my opinion, and I'll show you the rest. Now, after we made these first two, we came out with these two guys, 
Fat Boy's Delight and Distortion. Distortion. <laughs> I can't even say my own fucking juice line. Distortion is fucking crack. Uh, it's it's a very complex flavor, but I'm going to tell you the basics are Red Bull Iced Tea Lemonade. This shit is so good. I like it. And like I said, of course I'm going to like it. It's my fucking juice. But I did create it and I like it. This is uh, this is good stuff. Now, Fat Boy's Delight. This is kind of an acquired taste. And we're probably going to change this label just because it's got a cartoon fat kid eating. <laughs> it's a, this is a banana cinnamon cream Danish flavor right here. And it's it's mighty tasty. Mighty tasty. Um, banana cinnamon cream Danish. Yeah, we're going to change that label, unfortunately. This one's cool. Like a sir, I think it's cool. But um, now we got the new kids on the block. Let me bring them in. Doom, doom, doom. These all get released today. e already has an order. They'll be the first one to get it sometime this week. But um, these guys came out today. Let me break these guys down for you. Oh, man, I hate that I'm going to have to change this one, but it makes sense. I, I can't believe like, shit just started fly, like flaring up and like the uh, flaring, flaring up in the last week or two. But this is going to be awesome. Uh, our artist Aaron killed it. Nawesome. Not another strawberry milk. And we had a ninja that chopped off a bunny's head. I'm not going to say who the bunny resembles, but you can see there's blood there. But we're going to change it because the bunny might be too cartoony. We're not, we don't want to catch any shit. So I'm thinking I'm just going to have a white label, real generic, with a strawberry and a carton of milk there with a red circle around it and a slash through it. I'm thinking that's going to be the new label for this one. But uh, yeah, that was an awesome. An awesome, let me tell you, I've always loved a good strawberry cream or strawberry milk flavor, but my problem is there was never enough strawberry in it. It just didn't have enough strawberries, more cream than strawberry. An awesome is about to shit on quite a few juices. This is, uh, it's intense strawberry, authentic, real deal strawberries. Uh, the milk, it's fucking dope. And that's why we called it Not Another Strawberry Milk or AKA Nawesome is awesome. But we gotta change that label. So it is what it is. Uh, Blasberry Cream. This is a this is an interesting one that we came along. Oh yeah, let me tell you, most of these juices do pretty good, but like a sir will fuck off your coils. It is a coil gunkin son of a bitch. I think it's the sea salted caramel, but uh, it's worth it, totally worth it. Anyway, Blasberry Cream. This is a raspberry, blackberry, ice cream. And it's pretty fucking delish. Of course, like I said, I'm gonna say that because it's mine. Let me, I digress. I'm gonna quit saying stuff's good, but I honestly feel some of this shit's good. I've tried so many juices, people. So many juices. I think that has helped me. Uh, I'm going to save the best for last. That's helped me uh, create some good juices. Decent. This is decent. It's a crazy fruit flavor. Uh, the main flavor, as you can see, is grapefruit. We kept that label real simple. But yes, decent is dope. It's quite a fruit. Uh, fruit. What the fuck's wrong with my words? It's quite a few different flavors mixed in right here. But grapefruit is the uh, at the forefront of it. Really good flavor. This is one of the new ones. Uh, damn it. I keep saying really good. Um, and then, I don't know if many people are going to get this. But if you've seen South Park the episode oh damn it focus you son of a bitch the episode with al gore this is damn it hold on let me go manual focus okay yeah some people are familiar with south park man bear pig i'm super serial you guys yeah so what we got here is our artist aaron killed it again that's a super buff machine gun toting al gore blasting on a very realistic man bear pig and it's called super cereal this one's like a mixture of like crunch berries and fruit loops and a couple of it's a fucking cereal orgasm and it's very, very good. I know we don't need any more cereal vapes, but damn it, this one was too good not to put out. I think this label's fine, personally. I don't see any need to fuck with it. It's like a monster battling a buff guy, but it's Al Gore, man, Bear Pig. Some people may get it, some may not. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's these are the four new flavors. Uh, Nossum is gonna kill it. All of them are, are gonna kill it. I think they, uh, man, I really think, we've been working on these bitches for about eight months. And they're finally done. I can't tell you how many revisions there's been. But yeah, folks, that's my juice line. These are the bottles that they come in. And um, yeah, I will tell you where to get them here shortly. So uh, thanks for babbling and bullshitting with me looking at uh, juice labels. <laughs> All right, let's back out, talk on it, and vape on it. All right, folks, we are back. We are back. We just took up close and personal look at my bottles. Now the question is twisted. <laughs> 
How do they make? Nah, I'm just fucking with you. Um, I had to switch off of that bullet. It was too damn airy for the build I had in it. Just switched over this little sexy thing. You guys seen these yet? The Kanger Subbox Mini Kit. Pretty damn nice. Just came in from Sigabai. These new vertical coils are nice. You can run up to like 40 watts on them. Before, the highest I ever went on the original OCC coils was 25 watts. But yeah, a little, uh, little sexy setup right there, I must say. Um, anyway, I'm sorry. I digress. <laughs> Let me calm down. But anyway, folks, that was my stuff. Oh, man, where's my phone? My phone has all the retailers on it. Hold on one second. Son of a bitch. Where did I? <sighs> okay, sorry. I left my phone in another room. I was just going to show you. We got a badass website. Not too shabby juice.com. And so, like, there it is. You go fucking. Uh, well, there you go. And you got all kinds of stuff with the juice and some of my videos. And there's me. <laughs> um. But what I'm going to pull up is the retailers. We'll talk about that in a second. But yeah, folks, this is my juice line. Um, let's try not to make a big deal out of it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I do appreciate it. Look, I'm not going to say my shit's the best on earth, but I do feel it's pretty good. And if you try it out and you end up liking it, that's great. You just supported your homie. Uh, I appreciate it. I will say that. A lot of love's been shown thus far. I just hope we keep the love train and moving. Like I said, um, in the UK, ifancyone.com. In Canada redcoil.ca and then in america we got a lot of places in america uh, i know e-ciggity ca vapes um uh, vape happy we got a lot of people and of course my shop voltage vapor shop carries my liquid as well that makes makes pretty good sense all right so let me just do this real quick it's going to take a minute and i got to fucking list these people and give shout outs to the people who supported me so far with this juice line um drippers paradise in milwaukee uh shout out to those guys they carry my juice East 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 Steam Studios. That's kind of a given because uh, Ed is my guy. And uh, oh yeah, we got a really nice new lab that uh, he just got last uh, towards the end of last year that we're doing everything. We've hired on some more people. It's a really nice lab. Everything's fucking dope. I uh, just wanted to, in case people were wondering, making sure we're not fucking mixing up the juice in my bathtub back there. <laughs> um, Vapor Master in Slinger, Wisconsin, or is that is that Wisconsin? Slinger, Wisconsin. I think so. Uh, Witches Brew in Two Rivers, Wisconsin. These can't all be Wisconsin, are they? Vapor Reactor in Fond du, Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. I guess that's W-I, Wyoming, Wisconsin. Yeah, it's Wisconsin. It's got to be. Uh, we got Vape Vibe Altoona in Altoona, um, Pennsylvania. We got Infinite Vapor in Milwaukee, uh, Wisconsin. Okay, that makes sense. Vape Vibe Johnston, damn it, Johnston, what the fuck am I talking about? Vape Vibe Johnstown in Johnstown, um, Pennsylvania. Infinite Vapor West Ellis, that's a long ass name, guys, in West Ellis, uh, Wisconsin. Holy shit, we're killing it in Wisconsin, I had no idea. Uh, Infinite Vapor Wakushi, Wa Wakisha, fuck me, that's in Wisconsin as well, Wakisha, Wisconsin, sounds like a black chick's name, Wakisha. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what's like. Um, Infinite Vapor Madison East. That's in Madison, Wisconsin. Infinite Vapor Madison West. That's in Madison, Wisconsin. Infinite Vapor Fargo. That's in Fargo, uh, North Dakota. Sweet. We got juice in Fargo. That's fucking awesome. I had no idea. I need to pay more attention. Uh, Infinite Vapor Monot in Monot, North uh, Dakota. Mano. Mano. It's probably Mano. Fuck me. Mano, North Dakota. We got Vapor Haven and Camp. Bell Sport, Camp Bell Sport, Campbell, Campbell Sport, Wisconsin. Uh, the Vapor Stop USA in West Bend, Wisconsin. Holy shit, do we got, we do have contracts and shit, territory rights. How big is Wisconsin? Shit. Um, the Vapor Stop USA in Menomi, Menomi, man, fuck me, Menomi Falls, which, uh, Wisconsin. Uh, any vapors in Dracot, uh, Massachusetts, Dracot. Man, this is horrible. We need to make a whole video of me just trying to pronounce fucking cities. I am, this is ridiculous. Red Coil Vape Shop in Montreal, Quebec, up in Canada. 31 Vapes, uh, Vapors in Webster, Texas. Shout out to my Texas homies. CA Vapes in Bakersfield, California. I know you guys are probably bored. Just stick with us here. Shout out to Lucky Ruckus Vape Shop in Amarillo, Texas. Those are my homies. What's up, Frank? I see you. Um, Lucky Ruckus. We got Discreet Vapor in Fort Worth, Texas. Shout out to my homeboy Keith. Him and his Treasure Island Elixir Juice is doing good as well. I see you, Keith. Uh, Vape Happy in Las Vegas, Nevada. Shout out to Mike. 
uh, VIP Vapor in Burleson, Texas. Shout out to them. Uptown Vapor in Tyler, Texas. Um, shout out to those guys. East Sig Central LLC in Longview, Texas. I don't even think those motherfuckers got my juice right now. I might take y'all off of here at East Sig Central. Or pick up the new flavors or something. Damn. Shout out to Longview, Texas. <laughs> um, these are big homies right here. The Vape Apes in uh, St. Francis, Wisconsin. The Vape Apes, they're those dudes, that's probably why we got so many Wisconsin people. The Vape Apes, those dudes don't fuck around. They do distribution for us. Uh, Vape Apes, shout out to them. They make good-ass juice, too. Really good juice. That goji melon berry. I still remember. I still remember. Um, the Vapor Station in Fort Smith, Arkansas. Full Steam Vapor in Hurricane, West Virginia. 850 Vape Shop in Pensacola, Florida. Island Vape Shop in Clearwater, Florida. Full Steam Vapor in Hurricane West. I could have sworn I just said that. Do we have duplicates? Edward, we got to fix this fucking website, sir. <laughs> uh, Pirates Cove Vapor Lounge in Bluffton, South Carolina. Carolina Fog in Hickory, North Carolina. I, just, I was just up there in North Carolina. Shout out to those dudes. 316 Vapes in Wichita, Kansas. That's what's up. Atomize in Portland, Oregon. I like that name, Atomize. Goodfella Vapor. That's a dope-ass name, too. I like that. You see, I got the bad guys over here. Uh, in Swansea, Massachusetts. I think I got that right. I think I got that right. Liquid Smoke uh, in Deland, 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 Florida. Shout out to those dudes. E-Siggity in Honolulu, Hawaii. Shout out to E-Siggity. I Fancy One, which is in Stratfordshire, DE14, what, wait, fuck, I never, UK addresses always throw me the fuck off, um, I Fancy One, they got set up on two different places, Tamworth and Burton up in Trent, yeah, shout out to I Fancy One, they're holding it down in the UK, if you're in the UK and you want my juice, I Fancy One is the way to go, Canvas Vapory in Yigo, Guam, we're in Guam, bitches, yeah, those canvas dudes do it right, too. I've seen a video of their shop. It's dope as fuck. Herman Vapes over in Liverpool, Manchester, Leeds, Warrington, St. Helens, and Chester. If you're in the UK as well, Herman Vapes. Shout out to Herman Vapes. Those dudes are cool as shit. Vaping Oasis in 29 Palms, California. Holy shit, how long is this going to take? I'm sorry, folks. Bear with me. I mean, if you want to know where to get my shit, I guess you're watching or whatever. E-Sig South in Anniston, Alabama. Got some Bamas on that juice. Hold me on. What up, baby? Uh, the Vape Lounge 757 in Newport News, Virginia. Vape R Us in Malden, Massachusetts. EV Cigarettes in Jacksonville, Florida. Shout out to EV Cigarettes. Those are the homies. Uh, Vape Circuit in Rogersville, Tennessee. LA Vape in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I think we're almost done. Zula Vapor in Willow Grove, Pennsylvania. Uh, Voltage Vapor Shop, Palestine, Athens, Jacksonville, Texas. Smoke is Dead in, in Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania. Shout out to Tyler. Ace of Vapes in York, Pennsylvania. Vapor Passion in Miami Lakes, Florida. Uh, West Lesburg, Leesburg in, uh, in Florida. Vapor Warriors. Vapor Warriors in West Leesburg, Florida. Vape Circuit in Morristown, Tennessee. Rock Bottom Vapes in Alamante Springs, Florida. RGV Vapes in McAllen, Texas. Crave Cave Vapor Lounge in Toledo, Ohio. Optimal Vapor in Leonardtown, Maryland. I gotta do this, folks. I gotta give a shout out to everybody carrying the shit. This is so many fucking people. I had, we are in a shit ton of shops. Holy shit. Uh, Optimal Vapor. Uh, Chuck and Clouds in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Zone 15 Vapor in Stephen Point, Wisconsin. Rocco's Vape Lounge in Boardman, Ohio. And finally, Riverview Vapors in Nina, Wisconsin. Holy shit. That's a lot of folks. That's a lot of folks. There might be a couple missing off there too, if I'm not mistaken. We just added a few new shops. So there it is, folks. Not too shabby juice line. I finally made a fucking video about my juice line. Uh, check it out if you guys like. If not, oh well. Fuck me. <laughs> you do whatever you want. You're, you're a fucking grown person. Uh, we're gonna, I promise you, we will get the label straightened out uh, to, to abide by the fucking bullshit. Um, now, I don't think my shit's that bad. Now, some of these motherfuckers putting straight up Captain Crunch labels on there and blow pop candy and all that, that's a little much. 
Now, kids like candy. I still like candy. I can see that fucking shit. But the shit, some of the shit, there's, it's a witch hunt. That's what it is. The fucking witch hunt. But I, I'll play ball. I'll play ball. Anyway, uh, yeah, folks. Appreciate you guys watching this. Uh, this is all about my juice line. Um, pretty good stuff in my opinion. Of course, I'd say that. <laughs> if you got any of those shops near you, maybe stop by and sample it. Check it out. Uh, we should be offering 100 meals to multiple vendors pretty soon so you can get big bottles of the good shit. And, um, yeah, really, that's that's what I got for you, man. I'll put links in the description to, like, uh, a few websites that carry my juice, uh, my, my website for my juice. And, oh, and another thing. Now, Not Too Chabby is slightly expensive. It's We wanted to price it right along with the other premium guys because uh, we felt like our shit was that good. We used some really expensive flavoring. I won't name names, but it's some expensive shit. <laughs> good nicotine. We use good stuff. But it's right there in line with all the other premiums. But... Pretty soon, I'm working out on coming out with a super affordable juice line that we're going to sell direct on our website. Super affordable. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. Maybe bathtub juice. Not as shabby. Something. I don't know. <laughs> bathtub juice sounds funny, though. But it's going to be cheap. We're probably going to mainly do just big bottles, like 50 mils or 60 mils and 120 mils. But it's going to be cheap and affordable. So if you, do, if you can't fuck with my shit right now, it's too much for you. You might be able to fuck with my other shit that I got coming. But I'm done. I'm done. I've talked too fucking much. This video is probably eight hours long. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have bought my juice or if you plan on buying it, thank you for supporting me. And, and that's what I got for you, folks. So one more toke and we're getting out of here. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. All right, folks. So with that being said, thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Remember, it doesn't matter what the fuck you're vaping on. As long as you're not on the fucking stinkies. And last but not least, you stay sexy, YouTube. Me and this My Juice video are out.